Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a really quick video, but I kind of wanted to get this out of the way because the Raspberry Pi Foundation just released an awesome new product, something that they've never done before. This is known as the Raspberry Pi 400. And as you can see from this little picture here, it's an all-in-one PC. So this is an all-in-one personal computer that's powered by the same CPU that's used in the Raspberry Pi 4. We have four gigs of RAM, dual display, three USB ports, two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 port, and it looks absolutely amazing. We have the same layout as the Raspberry Pi keyboard. I've actually done a review on this with the Raspberry Pi 4 desktop kit, but uh, this thing is looking really neat. Price on this is coming in at $100. It's known as the Raspberry Pi 400, and I should have one in the next two days so we can take a look at this thing. We'll do a teardown, we'll test out a bunch of stuff on it, but I'm actually pretty excited about this. Now, like I mentioned, this is actually using the same CPU in the Raspberry Pi 4, but it does have an overclock right out of the box. So we're going to head over here to the tech specs. As you can see, we do have full GPIO access, micro SD card reader, two micro HDMI ports, USB Type-C for power, two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0, and the Gigabit Ethernet port. So it's powered by the Broadcom BCM2711, it's a quad-core Cortex-A72 CPU, ARM V8, it's a 64-bit CPU at 1.8 GHz right out of the box. Now the Raspberry Pi 4 runs at 1.5, but we can overclock, and I'm sure we'll be able to overclock this also. It comes standard with 4 gigs of RAM, and they haven't mentioned anything about doing an upgrade later on down the road and building the 8 GB version, but 4 GB in this little unit is going to be plenty. It's got dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, 802.11ac, Bluetooth 5.0, gigabit Ethernet, basically all the same ports that are on the Raspberry Pi 4 minus one USB 2.0 port, so we should have plenty of ports on this little unit. Now this isn't going to magically make Raspberry Pi OS run better than it does on the Raspberry Pi 4, but having it all in a contained package is a pretty cool little idea, and I'm really loving this thing. I cannot wait to get my hands on it and take a look at it. And just to give you an idea of what it comes with for $100, we have the Pi 400, we have everything contained in here, so we have that Raspberry Pi 4 CPU. This is basically our computer built into the keyboard. We also get the Raspberry Pi mouse, a micro SD card, a single HDMI cable full size on one side, micro on the other, so we can plug it right into the Pi 400 our USB Type-C power supply, and the Raspberry Pi official beginner's guide. And this is basically the same things that come with the Raspberry Pi desktop kit that you can pick up for around $119. Now with this one, we don't need a case because it's all contained in the keyboard, but yeah, I think this looks really awesome, and I will have one in my possession in the next two days. We're going to do a few videos on it. I really want to see how high we can overclock this CPU. We're going to run a couple different operating systems, and we'll even test out some retro gaming on it. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. If you're interested in learning more about this, I will leave a link to the Raspberry Pi Foundation website. There's several different people selling it right now. So if we go here to the US, you can see that the Pi Shop USA, CanaKit, Chicago Electric, Adafruit, SparkFun, and a few others are selling it right now. And it's going for $100. So if we just go to CanaKit, give you an idea here, 100 bucks. So yeah, I think this thing's going to be really awesome. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I'd also like to know what you guys think. In the comments below, let me know if you're thinking about picking one of these up or not. At 100 bucks, I think it would be well worth it, especially if you're into the Raspberry Pi already. But that's it for this one. Really appreciate you watching. Definitely keep an eye on the channel for my full review video and a couple more videos that I will be doing on the Pi 400 in the future. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.